Hello. Now we'll be doing Euclidean question 8. Now I'm going to show you how to heal Euclidean geometry questions. It says in the diagram below, the statement is very important. O is the center. So now when they are saying it is the center, you wait there. On the side of a paper, apply your theorems for the center. I have the one angle at the center, twice the angle at the circumference. Um, the line subtended by the, the angle subtended by diameter, diameter height is 90 degrees. I have the other one which is saying um, the line from the center cuts or uh, bisects the court and perpendicular to the court. I have that one of saying what? Turn right. So now I'm going to wait here and check if everything is applicable. So now since I can see that this one is the center, let me check. This one is going there and going there. So it basically means with this one, it is two times that one. Because it, this one was supposed to be here for the one that we know it is like this and then go there. But it didn't go there. It said that and went there. Angle at the center, two times the angle at the circumference. They are linking these ones. Now, let's check the other one. The diameter is not applying. This one is working. Because if it, there was a diameter, this line was going to pass this center and go there. Now, the one that says the, the, um, it bisects the court and what, what, is it applying here? Nah, it's not. Let's check, man. Let's check. Yeah, it is. It is. This line from the center bisects what called KL. So it means with ML, it is equal to KM. You see? That's how you apply your Euclidean. You see? Let's continue. So this one it is applicable. Let's check what? The turn radi. Okay. Is it there? Line from the center bisects there. It it meets the tangent at 90. Okay, so it means T2 plus T1, it is what? 90 degrees. Okay. Let's continue. I think now we are done with the center one. KT and L are points on the circumference. KT, TL, and KL, or OK and OT are drawn. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But now let's check. ST is a tangent. Now let's read there. Tangent has three theorems. Tangents drawn from the same point. This one, tan radi. And the last one, it is what? Tan court. So now let's wait here. Is my tan court applying here? Since I have a tangent and an angle there. Yes, it is applying. So it means with this 36 here, it is equal to angle L. So it means with I have what? 36 degrees here. Right? So, do I have tangents from the same point? No, I don't have. It is not working. Do I have the tan radi? I already have. I already applied it. So now, since I have tried to complete everything that I have, it means good now this one, this O, it is equal to what? 72. Because I already have determined and showed you that the angle here, it is two times the angle there. Okay? So now, let's work this one out here. So since I have my T1 as 36. No, it was S. T K. It is not T1. It is S T K. Because uh, I was told to go to this class to 36. And O K L. O K L. It is equal to what? 18 degrees. So from what I can see here, T1 plus T2 it is equal to 90 because of the tan radius thing. Tan rad. But now, what I can see is that 36 plus T2 are equal to 90. Therefore, it means T1 has to be what? 90 minus 34. So let's check. 90 minus 36, I mean 54. So it means what I have what? My, my thing, my T1 is what? 54 degrees here. You see? Now, let's continue. Did you understand what I said, Mara, guys? That's how it is. So, wait, 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 I made a mistake because I was already given what? T1. So, it means with my T2 here. So, you can read the own notes. T1 is close to 36 and then T2 is close to what? 54. Because I was given T1 as 36 and then I have already what? My T2 as what? 54. Right? And then now, let's continue. 
Is there anything that I still have to complete there? No, I don't think so. I think now you can go to cushions. But the main thing that you have to do is to complete all the angles. But since I have told you that this angle, it is equals to that angle. You know what it is, what? That one of saying, um, land drawn from the center, perpendicular to the court. Right? So I know that my KM is equal to ML. So, can I find the angle at M? O M K. Can I find it? O M K. Yes, I can. Because since this one is bisecting, it means what this angle here it is what ninety degrees. You see, and when it is ninety degrees, it means we learn what fifty-four degrees. So I'm gonna take out my calculator. See what ninety plus fifty-four. It is what one forty-four. So it is basically telling me that my K1 it is what? 144. Because my M here it is what? 90 degrees. Because KM it is equals to ML. Because the line drawn from the center bisects the chord. And now it is what? This one has to be equal. And then it is what? Perpendicular. Just like that. So it means what even this side here. This M it is what? 90 degrees. So I'll have to find T3. You see that how we find angles? It's very nice. 30, don't rush to cushions, plus 36. 90 plus 36, it is what? Wait, let me check what I did here. What is 90 plus 54? It is 144. 180 minus 144, it is what? Um, 180 minus, let me check. Minus 144. Oh, my bad, my bad. So, learning it has to be what? 36. K1 has to be cost 36 because of what? Um... Let's check. Sum of angles in a triangle has to add up to 18. Yes, it is 18. Oh, basically it now tells me that this one out angles opposite equal sides. You see, now it's linking. This one is already what? Isosceles triangle. You see, 36, 36. Then now let me check. 90 plus 36, I have what? 126, 180 minus 126, it is what? 54. And this one it is equals to 54. You see? Um, now I have tried to finish uh, to, to add all angles. Now let's go straight to questions. Now, Euclidean is tricky but interesting at the same time. It can make you make mistakes, but you'll after you'll realize your mistakes after that. So now 8.1.1 says find angle T2. Already I found it as my what 54th, but but now I have to show them how I got it. So A, I'll start by saying what angle T1 plus. Angle T2 is to 90 degrees. What is the reason? Tan ra tangent perpendicular to a radius. See? And then, so basically, I know what my T1 was given as 36 degrees plus the T2 that they want. Therefore, it will be 90 minus 36. It will be what? T2 it is to 54 degrees. You see? We are done. Number B, they want angle L. Already I found angle L, the S36. So it is what? T1 is equal to L, which is equal to 36 degrees. What is the reason? Tan court theorem. Write the full thing. Don't do summarize. Don't summarize A or do your things. In short ways, because now you lose max because of that. Okay, let's continue. Let's go to the next one. What does it say? Um, now it wants what? K O T, K O T. Already I have found O as what seventy two. So number C. So I'll basically say what K O T. It is equals to. 2 times angle L. So it will be 2, 36, which is what? 72 degrees. But what is my reason here for this one? Angle at center equals to 2 times angle at circumference. You'll write the full words there. Okay? Number three, 
proof given reasons that km it is equals to ml now i already told you and now you will now have to do what apply your maths 8.1.3 now i want to show you something here these markers I, they are possessed <laughs> so now you start by telling them that k2 plus kot it is what do i have k2 there yes i have it so k2 plus kot plus omk equals to 90 angles in it sum of angles in a triangle k2 plus kot plus omk <coughs> angle k2 plus k angle ot plus omt is equal to 180 degrees what is the reason sum of angle in triangle and then you're gonna continue by saying what what is my k today i was given s18 S what is kot 72 remember degrees degrees plus omt is equal to 18 so 18 plus 72 it is giving me what um 90 so basically i know that it is what omk it is equals to 90 degrees because this one you go to that side it will subtract then therefore km is equals to ml what is your reason line from center perpendicular to the what to the court then you get the what full three four five six seven eight nine marks see so it is just easy but yeah so guys thank you very much